Hello everyone. Are you frustrated with Blight Town like I was when I did my first playthrough of Dark Souls? Dicks! Oh, butts. 1v1 me, bro. 1v1 me. Oh. My. Goodness. Okay, okay. This is the last one. All I gotta do is kill him. And I'm free. Uh. Oh. Oh, man. Look at these Smeagol noobs. It takes two of them to take me down. 1v1 me, bro. Uh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, no. 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 Uh. 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 Not even close, baby. Alright, here we go. Look at that loot. Look at that loot. I just need to get this loot. Alright, here we go. Run and jump. Alright, three, two, one. Uh. Oh my. Oh my. Ah! Be wary of left. You know, I never liked left in the first place. I always liked right. He was so much nicer. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think they were right. I think. No, I think they were left. Ah. Uh Oh no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 he almost jumped off. Okay, okay. I got this. I got this. No, no. Okay. Okay. All I gotta do is find a good time to attack. Oh. Oh. No. Screw you, left. What the heck is this? I can't move. I can't leave. I'm stuck. Screw you, Blight Town. I'm not doing this. I'm out. Well, if you manage to get past me being an idiot, or just skipped here. Here's how you skip Blight Town. For this route, you'll need the Master Key, but there's an alternate one where you don't. First, start at Firelink Shrine and run down the staircase in front of the bonfire. Next, you can drop off this ledge or run down the staircase. You're going to follow this narrow pathway all the way to an elevator, which you will take down to New Londo Ruins. The elevator's not there. You probably need to call it up using the little lever thing, but that means that you went to New Londo Ruins before so you might know that. Next, when you get at the bottom of the elevator, you can drop off this ledge or walk down the staircase like a normal human being. You'll go through this archway, up the stairs, to where there is a gate. You will need to use the master key to open this gate. And behind the gate, there's a thousand souls you can grab if you want. Next, you will run across this wooden bridge and take a quick left into this giant gloomy looking archway. At this point you'll be entering Blight Town, but don't worry, not for long. You're gonna keep running and you'll end up passing to these ogre, I don't know what the heck they're called. So make sure you don't get hit by them because you're gonna need a lot of HP for what's going on. This next one, uh, he might do an overhead attack, you can just roll it. Now here's what's important, you gotta look on the ground and see where you are. There's two little wooden pegs that stick out and you wanna run off the third one at a maybe like 30 to 45 degree angle and you'll land on a little ledge this will cause you to not die when you fall and you're gonna want to go down another floor at this point you can either get on the wheel or you can drop down another floor and get on the wheel a secure way uh, I kinda just risked it and I took a little bit more damage than you needed to but it's okay at this point you're gonna want to heal up because you're gonna be running through some more dangerous stuff on the left uh, you can end up going to a bonfire if you choose, but that makes it to where you have to climb out of Blight Town, which is kind of a pain in the butt. And there's loot here. Oh, it's large. Type Knight Shard. Did not have that. So now you're just going to keep running through this, uh, I don't know, poison water here. It's kind of annoying, but if you went through Dark Root Gardens, you'll probably have some of that purple moss or whatever that removes poison, which will help you get rid of it. Once you run through all that crap, you'll end up in this like cobweb area that's really scary. And you're just gonna follow this route. Enemies will not follow you into here, or at least they won't follow you far. And you just follow the set pathway and you'll end up in front of the boss of Blight Town. Kalag? Quaylag? Uh, mean lady. And that is how you skip going through Blight Town. Like I said, alternatively, there's a bonfire to your left, and I'll show you how to get there real quick. From the drop down at that giant rotating wheel, you will want to go left through some more poison water. 
you will continue along past a little few bad guys that you can easily avoid. Just keep going and eventually you'll see a little alcove, I guess, and you can go inside. It will be right here. It kind of looks like a sewer grating, I guess. I don't know. And then uh, you just rest in the bonfire, which will reset all the enemies. And if you go farther down, there will be some treasure. Now I will show you how to get to Blight Town if you do not have the Master Key. If you do not have the Master Key, you will want to begin once again at Firelink Shrine and head down the path towards the Blacksmith. You don't have to talk to that guy like I did. I just felt like it. Make sure you ride the blacksmith elevator all the way up and head on over towards the blacksmith. Once you get to this blacksmith area, you're going to want to walk all the way down and through the area where you battled that Titanite demon, I think is his name, but uh, I'd rest at the bonfire just in case anything bad happens. Also you might want to upgrade your weapons just in case you uh, have any trouble killing Kaylite. Once you run through this area, you'll go the only route possible, which is to the left. You're going to want to end up going past this first pool, and you're going to want to take a right at the second one. Don't go too far. You'll know you have gone too far if a second tree dude attacks you and there's a drop-off area. So, once you go down this path on the right, you're going to want to follow the path all the way down. If you've never been here before, there will be a twinkling titanite thing. I don't know what they're called. The things you kill that drop twinkling titanite. There will be one here and you can kill it for some nice loot. Once you get to the bottom, you're going to want to take a right and go along this little path and go down once again. However, there is a black knight with a halberd here. I would be very careful, but if you are just too afraid of him, you can actually make him kill himself on the ledge. There's also the grass crest shield. I hope I said it right. That's down there, which is pretty nice uh, early game. Actually, it's a pretty nice shield overall. It regenerates your stamina at a faster rate, but I recommend taking that bonfire as that will be your base of operations, and we will continue on. You're going to go down this elevator, which is not here because clearly I use this place a lot. Alright, elevator made it. This next part can be a little bit troublesome because the drakes here, because you know we're in the Valley of Drakes, they can uh, they can shoot stuff at you. But there's only really one that's a bit bothersome, and it's this little guy that is on this like just sitting there blocking the whole ledge. I like to hang to the right and then go left to try and avoid any any attacks. Luckily, he didn't shoot lightning and there was actually an item there. I didn't know that was there. Wow. Anyways, you're going to follow this path along, and uh, along this path, there is a 
dragon that is not supposed to be awake, but I stole his stuff. Uh, don't worry. He won't be there for you unless you stole his stuff. And if he is, you can just run around his acid spit because, well, that dragon sucks. Run along this bridge and soon you will be in familiar territory. Over there you can see where the New Londo Ruins elevator, or an elevator, entrance is. And here is the ominous and gloomy Blight Town backdoor entrance. If you guys were wondering how to check if you have the master key or not, just go to the Dark Souls load page or whatever, and you can hit Y or toggle display on whatever character you're using, and under gift, it'll tell you what you chose. If you chose master key, then you'll have it. However, you can end up buying the master key in the game, but you'd rather just start with it as your gift, as it's probably the best gift by far. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy skipping Blight Town, because you don't want to go through Blight Town and kill K-Lag, Quay-Lag, Quay lag whatever he's called, because that's not fun. But just killing her and doing a, a cool skip is really fun. So once again, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to. And peace out, Girl Scout.